Love is burdensome. It's tiring. It's demanding. It annoys the hell out of me. And let me tell you why. It drives us to do things that we would and should never do. Like my parents, choosing to raise a baby girl selflessly and generously 27 years ago, when it was never quite their responsibility to do so. It is a quick pension. But I think my parents got lucky. They got me. I'm a fast-growing stock. But really, my parents took on this lifelong commitment with no warranty back in 1993. The two of them did it happily. For my brother, it meant sharing his parents and resources when he ought to have undivided attention. Not that he had a choice, but I think he did it happily too. Okay.
Sally ni sama kap. We siok, we siok love you. No more fun up. Time is tight, just like your time. I want your time in my time. Happy memory today for forever, and I'm looking forward to spend the rest of my life with you, Sally. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Wee so thank you for choosing me as the person to share this gamble with mm. on live together. Yes, you claim that you're a twosome, but I'm quite a lousy player, so <laughs> I'm sure you're really clear of that. I'm always thankful that you are here with me through the different seasons and for every reason, and how you remain a pillar of support. Very big, very strong and sturdy one. You indulge in my crazy and wacky humour. You talk me out of my foolishness and insecurity. And you love so freely, even if you try to be gruff and unwilling with expressing love. I'm honestly hesitant to promise you with anything. It's kind of defeat the purpose of this letter writing. But I promise I will always be kind and I'll always be mindful of your feelings. And I will never stop being the wife that you deserve. This is my promise to you. And because you are always complaining I don't do things for you, I got you a blank chair. Yeah, you must do this. Yeah. yeah. The love I've been showered with is selfless, yet suffocating at times. Sometimes I wonder if I can be left alone. Sometimes I wonder if I'm even deserving of such love. Yet there are days that I get hungry, I want more. But despite everything the love I'm grown up with leaves me grateful and blessed. This is perhaps what love is. Never transactional, always giving. We love despite dot 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 and not because. 
dot dot dot. It makes us patient and kind, like my furry best friend who waited by the gate for my return after school, after work, despite being a late class once, battling cancer during her sunset days. She was always so excited to see me, each day for the last 12 years. The furry monster taught me the most intense and simplest kind of love, to have and to hold and to cherish each moment. Growing up, I have friends who give and never expect, who support when I fall, who is always eager to celebrate milestones together, and most importantly of all, I can never say this enough, I have the best people to grow wiser with, because we outlive and push one another to become better versions of ourselves each day. I think we have become greedier, yet gentler with love. I love you, my buddies. However, love can be shallow. Plato in the Symposium mentions that zoos split humans into halves, condemning them to search for the split halves. Indeed, we grew up with narratives about finding the right one. I find that problematic, because no one should expect to be made whole by another human being. You should work on yourself first. Therefore, instead of professing my love for Wee Xiong because of his virtues, I declare instead, this marriage, if anything, encourages me to love myself harder. It is through embracing my awe and pursuing constant self-improvement that I am and become an emotionally resilient and kind wife to Wee Xiong. Wee Xiong deserves that kind of partner. That is, in my opinion, the best gift I can give Wee Xiong and also the blank check in the morning. This is my commitment to you, Wishong, and to your family. I thank your family for raising you so well, and I'm happy to share your food and your love from now on. Wishong, you are right for me because I choose you, and I'll make this right. I choose you despite and not because. I honor my choices. I'm sure we will have a lot of fun together. Let's grow thick and thicker and quarter together. I hope you feel the same. Love still annoys the hell out of me. It is burdensome and messy. Yet we choose to love despite the monster it is. To everyone here, thank you for showering me with love. I'm beyond blessed. Mm-hmm.